Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Choose Life. I am your host, Gina. I'm the hostess with the most. <laughs> I don't know, I found it, it easier for me to be silly sometimes. And you know, it's just fun. Life is fun. So um, yeah, so if you're just passing by, um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and come on over here and begin to choose life. So I know I made a video earlier with this same shirt on, right? And um, yeah, I have more shirts, but I have this particular shirt on and it says God is faithful because I'm gonna back up a little bit. I wanna talk to you today about God being faithful. On Sunday, I spoke about just that. Here's my notes. That um, God is faithful and his promises still stand. And I got a couple texts about um, me. Uh, people were happy that I reminded others that God is faithful and his promises still stand. So before I get into what I talked about on Sunday, I just wanted to tell you all that I am now beginning to really see God working in some a particular area of my life that I have been praying about 102 years. <laughs> and I'm really beginning to see him move. It is it is so sweet. It is so wonderful. You know the Bible says in, in Ecclesiastes there is a time and season for everything for everything right and what i'm seeing is that sometimes when we pray for a particular thing it is not the time nor the season for the thing to come to pass that's ecclesiastes 3 if i didn't say it and what we have to learn to do is not fate the Bible says in Galatians 6, 9, it says, let us not become weary in well in doing well, for in the proper time we will reap a harvest. Let me just read it in this version. It says, let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So the Lord says, don't become weary in believing in his faithfulness don't become weary in well-doing because believing and trusting as god in god is well-doing it's it's right it's what what's right another version says don't become weary in doing what's right and what is right is believing in god god is faithful oh he's faithful he's faithful he's faithful and the enemy what i spoke about on sunday is is that the devil is not after our houses, our cars, nothing, our relationship, what he's after is our faith. He wants us to believe that God is not going to answer and that God is not being truthful. And so he's attacking our faith. If you attack someone's faith, you kind of mess them up, right? You know, because there's times when people have all this great confidence that they can do something and then a whole bunch of people come and tell them they can't or even one person tell them they can't and the person kind of sinks down. And so that's what the devil is trying to do to us to, to when life comes and all this stuff happens and we can't figure out an answer and we can't see God moving. He wants us to think that God is unfaithful but my shirt says god is faithful and so i want to encourage you to wait on the lord you will see you will see you will see that which he promised to you i want to speak a little bit about um philippians 4 13 and we always say you know i can do all things through christ who strengthens me or which strengthens me which is true right but this con in this this verse in context is talking about being content content paul was talking about being content when i have a, a, a lot being content when i have little i'm content in either situation that I am in. And so the Lord wants us to have that mindset. I'm a, I'm content. I'm, I'm content because whether I see the promise of God today, whether I see it tomorrow, I know that God is faithful. So I can relax 
in the faithfulness of God. I don't need to trip and worry. But what's wrong is that we're, we're in such a hurry to get those things. But we have to realize that God is a God of process and no man is ever going to be able to rush his hand. And so we need to wait on the Lord. And the reality is, what else can we do? But believe and trusting that God is a promise keeper, will keep the promises. He's the only one that will keep the promises. No one else can help us. So we might as well sit and relax where we're at and train our minds. God is faithful. He's not going to let me down. God is faithful. He is not going to let me down. Everything is working out for my good. That's what the word God says, that it's all working together for my good. And so I wanted to encourage you to tell you that God is faithful. He's faithful. He's the only one that's faithful. And I don't want you to be discouraged and I'm not saying that you ever won't be discouraged because that's that little humanness part of us. But even in that, we're spiritual beings. And I think sometimes the Lord wants us to stop saying that. Ah, well, we're only human. And we are to a degree because we're spirit beings. We're like God. And um, he wants us to know that he's faithful and that he's not lying to us. He will never say anything to you and I that he will not deliver on. He will never say it. And sometimes people don't see the things of God is because they're saying God said something that he didn't say because maybe they just misunderstood. But I want to encourage you that God is faithful. He's faithful. I'm telling you, I'm just beginning to see some things that I've been praying for forever. And then the Lord sent the word by prophet and said that I'm going to begin to see the th- see the things that I've been praying for for about the last three years. So the things that I've been praying for the last three years, they're just coming to pass. I have no idea why God moves the way that he does, but he knows why he moves the way that he does. And he knows the lessons that he's trying to get me to understand. And the truth of the matter is most of the time, God is really trying to get us to See where we're at. Do you really believe that I'm going to do this? Right? Because faith is all we have. We have faith. We were saved by faith. And so a lot of times he's working that faith in us. If if everything is falling around, um, all around you, can you still believe that I'm with you? If everything falls apart, can you believe? Do you believe I'm your restore? If you lack, do you believe that I'm your provider? And a lot of times we don't really get the lesson in the lesson. We don't get it. We just <laughs> keep trying. Um, uh, Minister Javon says that God is the king, the God of the retest. He will re test you or something like that. He will retest you. And so I want to encourage you that, um, his promises still stands. He, nothing has changed from the day that he gave you the promise. Nothing has changed. Not on his side. Nothing has changed. Nothing is going to make him take the promise back away from you. Nothing nothing. If he say it, he is going to perform it. He is not going to repent. He's not going to change his mind because the thing is the promises of God, of God, they're about God. They're not about us. They're about God. Everything is somehow in the walk of the Christian. It, It leads back to God, whether God bless you with the biggest mansion in the world. Yes, for sure. You're going to give him the glory. You're going to give him the honor. And he wants you to let people to come in the house. So it all leads back to him. So he's not going to withhold a promise from you that leads back to him. So be encouraged. God is faithful. God is faithful. Now, to be honest, I I, I know God is faithful because I've heard him. I mean, I've seen him answer people's prayers and he's answered some of my things, my own personal things. But some things, you know how they go, y'all. Some things you've been really, really wanting is like, oh, Lord, <laughs> where is that thing? But I'm telling you. He's faithful and at the right moment and at the right time in due season, he's going to deliver that thing. And you and I, we're going to give him glory and we're going to give him honor and praise. So don't shrink back from doing good. Don't fret 
it's coming. And, and I think, I believe that the Lord wants us to be excited. And um, as I said in my last video, he wants us to speak the promises of God, to speak the promises of God. Um, not too long ago, I attended this tea party, um, a virtual tea party. And the woman said, a, a woman said to me, well, what we were talking about, what I wanted to do when the quarantine, like what was my visions? And I said, well, you know, we want to get a church. And she was like, well, people are not going to be running back to the church. And I said, I don't know what they're going to be doing, but Jesus told me to get a church. So therefore people have to come to the church, right? Because that's the promise. When Jesus speak, it's a promise. Whether he's saying this going to happen, that's going to happen. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. It's a promise, right? And so I said, well, Somebody's coming because he wouldn't tell me to get a building if it wasn't coming, right? And he told us several times. So I hope you all are encouraged. God is faithful. God is faithful. His promises still stand. You can take that to the bank that God is, is faithful. And remember, we walk by faith. We don't walk by sight. And I believe that's a training that we have to train ourselves. I believe that all of the stuff that God wants us to learn in his word, it's a training and it's a training. It's a training until it gets deep down inside of us. You know, when somebody trains for something first, you know, maybe initially it's really hard. And then after a while, it gets a little bit easier. And then after a while, it's second nature. You just do it. And so that's what I believe the Lord wants us to get to the place where we realize what, where we train right and train and train and it becomes second nature and just like when life comes up against you like that's okay because God is faithful God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus so like that's what I believe the Lord wants us to know that I'm faithful and if you hold on you're going to see me show up and do that which I have promised you. It's not something that you asking God for. It's something that he came to you. The Bible says in Isaiah 55, 11, that God, as, as sure as the rain and the snow comes down to water the ground, that is what my word's going to do. It's going to accomplish the very thing that I sent it out to do. So don't fret because <laughs> it's like, God is like, don't worry about me. I got this part. I'm going to do my part. You don't have to worry. I am faithful to me. <laughs> That's what, I don't know. It seems like God might even say like, y'all tripping, y'all tripping about what I'm going to do. You need to worry about yourself. But anyway, I want to encourage you that God is faithful He's faithful. And I'm glad that I stand in this place today that I can tell you for sure that God is faithful. And you know, because sometimes we say God is faithful. Or we say anything about the scriptures, but there is no conviction behind it. We're trying to cause ourselves to believe. But when you begin to walk in the thing and you begin to see God doing the thing, then you can say, oh no, with conviction, with strong conviction, God is faithful he shall deliver on every promise and don't forget that when as as god is um uh working out the promises in your life. He's shaping us. He's grooming us, getting us ready for promise. It's because if the Lord promised you that I'm going to give you, that he's going to give you a house and you've always lived in a, you know, I don't know if we've always lived, I'm going to say we, me, because you know, people like get offended. But if I've always lived in a project, there's a mentality for the projects. Hallelujah. There's a mentality for the project that can't go into the palace. And so God has to work on our minds and work on our behavior. You can't take that project furniture into the palace. You can't take that hoopty over there into the palace. There's no room on the street for your hoopty. <laughs> you can't park your street, your car on the street where there's, uh, I don't know, Benzes and uh, I don't know what the fancy cars are or, or I don't know. You can't can't bring that car here. You can't behave such a way, um, you know, where you used to behave like when you're in the projects, you have to behave properly for the palace. So sometimes the Lord is working on us to be able to live in the palace or to live in the promise, should I say. He's working on our character. He's working on our minds. He's working on our behavior. He's working on our clothes as well as how he's working on our hearts. So don't get discouraged because you haven't seen the promise of God yet. 
I'm so sure that when God has said some things to us early on and they have not come to pass yet because we're not ready yet. He's working on us. Hallelujah. He's working on us so that we can be ready for the promise of God. So be encouraged. The promises of God still stand. Don't get weary in well-doing for in due season you shall reap and really learn how to be content. Learn how to be content. Whether you have a lot, whether you have a little, whether you see the promise, don't see the promise. Be content because there, as we know, in the hall of faith, tons of people didn't see the promise of God, but they didn't live their life all crazy. Like, oh God, and answer. they didn't live like that. They kept living that he's, I'm going to see the promise, even if they didn't see it. And that's the way God wants us to live, knowing that he is faithful. We put more faith in this chair that I am sitting in than in the promise of God because we are so sure that this chair is going to hold us up. We don't think about sitting in the chair. We don't think like, we don't talk to the chair like, listen here, chair, you're going to hold me up and you better not fall. No, we don't do that. We just sit down in the chair knowing that it's going to hold us. Well, God wants us to do the same. He wants us to sit down in his promises knowing that he is going to deliver the promises of God. So, his promise still stands. No matter what you do, and no matter what I do, his promises still stand. Like, he's not, um, you know, how people renege on their promises when you act crazy. Not so. Not so, the Lord. So, with that being said, I'm going to pray. Father, I thank you that you're so faithful to us, Lord God. I thank you that you are faithful to perform your, to watch over your word, to perform it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that every person that should watch this video will be encouraged and stirred up God in the name of Jesus and choose to believe God that you are faithful Lord God in the name of the Lord Jesus if you said it you shall do it for you are not a man that you shall lie nor the son of man that you should ever have to repent you will never say anything and not perform it father in the name of the Lord Jesus teach us how to be content and to wait on you father in the name of Jesus teach us Lord God how to sit in your promise and to wait on your promise to come to pass father and father if there is a part that we play so that the promises of God can come to pass in our in our lives God I ask you to show us our part father in the name of Jesus so I decree and declare that we're choosing to remember we're choosing to believe that you are faithful God and I ask you Lord to help us to remember to look back God on how you were faithful to us before we came to know you and how you're faithful to us that you keep our family you keep our friends you keep us in, in, in our right minds God I ask you Lord God to help us in the name of Jesus to remember your faithfulness and and God I decree and declare that we will remember your faithfulness we know your faithfulness and we'll speak it out of conviction we'll speak it out of our spirits we will not it will not be head knowledge you are faithful and your promises still stands lord i ask that you bless my brothers and sisters as they watch this and i speak that every person that watches these videos will be encouraged god in the name of jesus and i decree and declare spiritual growth over them and myself growth god growth in the name of the lord jesus christ god so we love you we love you jesus we bless your name we thank you for your faithfulness in jesus name i pray amen Hey, y'all. So, yes, God is faithful. Don't forget it. Don't let the devil attack your faith. Don't let him do it. Don't. He's faithful. He His promises still stand. Whatever he promised to the children of Israel when he was bringing them out, that he wanted to take them to the promised land, that promise still stands. The promise was not met because of the Lord. It was not met because of the children of Israel. Unbelief rebellion they, they just didn't do right by god they didn't do right by the lord his promise still stand and we saw it carried out through joshua and the next generation so i love you guys i do i do i do yeah and um god bless you remember god is faithful don't forget i don't even know where i got this shirt from but he's faithful 
I'll see you on the next video. Choose. This is what we're choosing. We're choosing to remember that God is faithful. Bye.